What is going on, everyone? Commodore Les here, bringing to you guys my reaction slash review of Jujutsu Kaisen Manga Chapter 238. Now, it's a Friday morning, the chapter has been out, but we are here to sit down and read the latest installment of Akutama Gege's masterpiece provided to us by the good people over at TCB. Now, I know the chapter came out yesterday, I know it's a little bit late, technically, by how we do things here, but... To be honest with you, from covering One Piece, from covering the anime for JJK, which, by the way, Toji Greatness, finally back in our lives, man. You know, the deal with Brando voice and everything, right? I said to myself, look, man, I want to wait till the Friday morning. I want to start my day off either on a good note or a good rattle. And I want to make sure that the energy levels are on the same stature that we put them on week in and week out. Because I don't want to give you guys videos that, you know, there's no energy or I feel tired or I just... I don't have that in me. I don't have that dog in me. You know I have that dog in me. I've been showing that out for quite a long time. And I don't want to give you guys anything less but the best. So, wait until Friday morning. It's now. We're ready to go. But before that, a couple things to know. Because I have seen the comments and stuff from last week. You know, some people saying, you know, I'm downplaying Urayume. Because, you know, I have Akari handling things. And here's where I'm coming from, right? We took enough L's, have we not? When it comes to the culling game. When it comes to certain events. That have gone in the favor for Akutama Gege. Because he knows how much we hate the suffering. How much he enjoys that aspect, right? With the gambling, with whatever it may be, I trust Akari. I think he'll be able to handle things. He'll be fine. Not to say that Urdume is weak or anything. But I think we'll be fine. And this may be Copia. Maybe I'm lying. But if I'm going to trust anybody, it's the man that runs the fight club. That's Akari. The other thing also to note, well, a couple more from that. We're on break next week, which you know what? Nowadays, I'm thankful for because I get to rest. I don't have to worry about how I'm going to lose my mind every single week. And, you know, maybe I get some rest too. So, fair enough. And the other thing too, the Kamutoke, the cursed uh, tool that Yorozu provided, you know, the binding vow, the gift to show, you know, what exactly means to love, like just and all that. I didn't know until after I looked back at it. It was chapter 117 that if you look at the bottom of that color spread and stuff, where it shows Sakura holding that, like, trident thing. And on the other hand afterwards is that uh, cursed tool, Kamutoke. So, a really cool detail because I'm looking at like why, like I wanted to say I knew it but I didn't, and then it's like yeah, there you go. So it's been a long time since Shibuya, but regardless of all that, Sukuna is back. I say he's back. Why? Because I don't have just one belt because that would be just very disrespectful, wouldn't it? Right, guys? I don't have just two belts for Sukuna because that would be very disrespectful, right? I don't just have three belts. For Sukuna, right? Because that would be very disrespectful. No, 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 ladies and gentlemen. I have four. Why do I have four? Because my guy has four arms. Why does he have four arms? Because my guy is back in his prime. He is back to the way he used to be. And listen, I know people are also saying that Megumi might be gone. But if I know anything about a shonen manga, is that there is always some way, somehow, hope at the end of the tunnel. Even if he's back in his... Perfect form, which he looks phenomenal in. And I give no costume chances to be able to overcome this. Whatever the amber, I don't care. Megami is still in there. And so, even if it's a decimal of 0.1%, I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. That'll be fine. But for now, Kashimo, you're about to get this work. And it's going to be something. So let's get into this chapter. Let us see what Gege has in store for us. Because I need to know before we lose our sanity. All right. And right off the rip, I see the top head afterwards with those three eyes and everything. But Kashimo, well, by the way, the Amber Beast form with the fact that he's manifested in the electricity and all that is just absolutely wild. But still, it's it's nothing to this god, bro. Analyzing Sakuna's true form with x-rays, Kashimo came to a single conclusion. Utterly immaculate. And look at him, bro. Look at this guy. Wielding the Kamutoke, got two arms down, one arm to hold it up. Wow, bro, this is this is the thing that people were afraid of thousands of years ago. That was causing nothing but torment across the land of Japan. Kashimo versus Ryomen Sakuna facing off in their true forms. And listen, man, I know Kashimo. Though after this, his body's gonna go. So. You have to expect the inevitable, and it's going to be a dove and a title retained for Sakuna. Or the fact that, okay, here, four titles. 
the decisive battle in the inhabited Shinjuku, uh, the demon infested Shinjuku part 15. And you see from there, walking down straight, nothing but aura all around him. And as Kashima right there on the bottom part of the page, I see the advertisement and all, oh, but yo, know, it lays down, yo, bro, y'all already know, y'all already know what it is, y'all already know what it is, y'all already know what it is, bro. If you know a gang sign, no matter what area you rep, you throwing it up. It don't matter. It don't matter. It don't matter because, ladies and gentlemen, we took a massive L with Gojo, but it had to be understandable because this guy right here, man, he's just him. I can't, I can't do anything else at this point. Until Yuji's the one to usurp this dude, it is Sukuna's house. This is the house of Sukuna, unfortunately, man. That guy pays the bills. He pays the rent. Damn it, you better provide for him too, man. Even while making hand signs. See, look at the See, even while making hand signs. But I know deep down in the person that was typesetting all that wanted to throw in gang signs. We have four-letter difference. That's the only thing. A four-letter Actually, no, to be honest, two-letter difference. But even then, they knew in their heart of hearts what they wanted to write. Two hands are free. Able to chant incantations with no strain on his heart and lungs. Let's just, I just need a Marvel at it for if I read the, more of this text, bro. Because look at it, man. I want open hand free, the Kumutoki after. As a sorcerer, there is no greater advantage than having twice the number of arms and mouths. Although Sukuna's body takes on this, this plastic form, not a single one of his bodily functions are hindered. I mean, look, man, if it's anything like... I'm trying to remember what the hell the damn name of the game is. Oh, my God. It, it's not Diablo or anything, but it's the one that has, like, the two Sukuna. It might be... Wait, Neo? I think the name is Neo. That apparently, Ryoma Sukuna, it's like, the again, because I know it's supposed to be, like, the twins and stuff, like, these two parts and everything. I still would hope that the series does uh, extend beyond it. It's because of that reason, maybe. But even then, just on, like, one part of Sukuna, though. I mean, oh, I just noticed right now the mouth. I just noticed the mouth on the stomach, bro. That is crazy. That is actually wild, dog. That man is about to be fed in more ways than one. Literally and figuratively, man. Oh, my God. Bro, why, why would you blur that? Is that him when he was out here hooping back in the day in his hood? Oh, bro. I We need that Heian era flashback. We need it so badly. It's not even funny anymore, man. Gege, if there's anything you can do for me and the people, it's provide for us and give us that flashback, man. Because look at you just see all these people and the old art styles and stuff and everything, right? You know, the, the I guess the shoguns and the, the, the priests, whatever and stuff, right? All around this dude. And you just see him there holding on to the staff and everything. And then, of course, with his cursed tool. It was in this form. Wielding the pair of curse tools. Okay. The pair of curse tools. So Kamatoke and Hiten is the other one there. That Sukuna annihilated the elite celestial squad and the five void generals who served under Fujiwara Hoke branch. And repelled the forces of the Abe clan's Dishin squad. Including Angel... And remnants of the Sugawara clan. Okay, so now, now, now you're providing. Now I'm being fed. Now I have some nourishment. Yo, this is... Okay, okay. Whatever I said about you in these last 237 chapters, is all out of love, bro. It's all out of love. <laughs> yo, and then look at this freak, bro. It just, yo, man, nah, this form is just absolutely insane for Kastro. Ah, I can't believe it. How can he be so... I mean, that's just crazy, though. Like, getting all this information now. But now it's like you know more so why Angel got a beef. Like, the disgraced one, the fallen one. Don't matter what translation you want to go at that point. You know why Angel got a problem when it comes to Sakuna. And there you go. You got it. Oh, my God. How can he be so... Beautiful. Oh, no. It's so over. It's so over. It's so over. Oh my god. And Cosmo immediately guns straight to Sukuna. Trying to hit. Well, actually, no. Was it Sukuna that goes straight for him? Because I think they're looking at the, the floor angle and stuff. It looks like he goes. So they got the, the punch strikes in. 
And this, yeah, bro, not nah, two arms coming in and just laying the smack down right there, right up in the midsection. And you just seem like, bro, God. And then he's trying to jump right back towards Sukuna afterwards from the hit. And does he get, whoa. Oh, no, 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 it's the cannon. It's the cannon, it's the cannon, it's the cannon. It's the cannon. The cannon comes out, rah. And it's going towards uh, Sukuna. Scale of the dragon. Recoil. Look out. Twin meteors. Dismantle as that thing just cling, cling, like just divide and conquer. That is what we do, man. Oh my god, look at that attack right towards him. Did he get him? He split. This is what ended Gojo Satoru's life. He took a part of him right there, bro. Oh my god. Yo, this is how you know. And we might be, oh man, if he's, if he's saying he's playing around right now, bro, then this is actually crazy. But the same thing, literally, people were asking, you know, why didn't we see when Gozo got split? And I understand the controversy behind it, right? But do you, like, ask yourself, right, as somebody who enjoys this series and who probably loves Gozo just as much as I do too, right? Do you generally need that panel for that type of suffering? Do you really need to use the rope coupon that we were handed to at the beginning of the series, before first chapter came out, when Gega, this guy was walking around the street saying, hey, read my series, read my series, read my series, and you found yourself with the pamphlet right there with the brochure, and somehow there was a coupon there for a rope, and you're asking yourself, why, why would you give me the coupon for a rope for a day like this? Are you actually going to use it? No, I would never use it. So that's why you ask yourselves right now, why didn't he put that in the manga? Because they don't want you to use the coupon. Don't damn use the coupon, all right? A slash that bisects the world itself. This guy is something, bro. It's a world splitter. <laughs> no, no, nah, bro. Moments like these, it just makes me think, yo, if he was put in the Torco world, he would absolutely be like the Will Chamberlain of that series. I, Oh, my God. He's looking at the bro. Like, oh, no, nah, man. And you just see... It's crazy. You see the mark on the ground of the destruction, and then you just see the split little part right there for Koshimo. It's just like, bruh, it could have been way worse. Could have been way worse. There is this fool who preached to me about love, and this is definitely about Yorozu. According to her, I know nothing about it. Because I live peerless in a world of in a world of my own. I understand what she meant. But still, it's quite annoying to hear someone else prattle on about what you don't know. It looks like she chose the wrong person to preach to. You and Gojo Satoru would have made much better company for her. The man incapable of love. I feel that. You know the answer you seek. You just can't comprehend it. Right? What are you trying to say? You were strong. Oh God, he's he's hulking up the very bonds. He's hulking up the very bonds. Oh my God! He, wait. Okay, no, no. So that it's, it has to be more uh, Kashimo with his electricity. Like he's just getting. Well, well, actually no, because I'm seeing the strike right. It looks like a little the movement right there from the hand and stuff for um, Sakuna with Komatoke. but. And he goes spray from behind. Oh, God. Nah, it might be over. It might be over. And he hits him from the bottom arms. Just jukes him right in the stomach. And a little bit of blood. And he is just pounding away. And he gets swift sense away. But, nope. He's just trying to get the, hit the key blast right after. Can he do it? Is that a waffle in the sky? What the... Oh, no, this dismantle gimmick, bro, is different. Maybe because I had breakfast not too long ago and stuff, bro, but this is literally the first thing I see in my mind are these squares and everything, and I'm thinking, what is this brother cooking in the kitchen? He's cooking destruction. <laughs> nah, at this point, bro, nah, 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 man. we we'll put the bolts on early, bro. we we'll the... <laughs> This dude is 
world splitter, a sky splitter. He's an everything splitter, bro. It's so over. It's, yo, if it wasn't over before, it is so over. <laughs> you really had him going back to the past on his Samurai Jack gimmick. I'm sure many warriors have given heart and soul challenging you. And they has tears in his eyes. He knows it's a warida. They weren't doing so to curse you. They simply wanted to be recognized, to validate who they thought themselves to be. You met their eyes in response and slaughtered them. You asked earlier, how can I possibly connect with and love those beneath me? Well, if that isn't love, I don't know what is. Yo, the dawn coming out with the robe and everything, man. Oh, nah, bro. This is, yo, nah, this child is so beast. We are loved because we are strong. We simply respond to that love in kind. Nah, bro. This, this, yo, I love this series. As much pain as it brings me, I love this series. And yet you lament solitude all the more, which makes you greedy. You're saying this is enough for you? Then why mince your soul into curse objects and watch all those years go by, bro? <laughs> yeah, he might be my anger monitor, bro. He might actually be. Like, no. If you read Fates, you know. You just know. It's as simple as that. Let me assure you. Love is worthless. The thought of needing someone else to fulfill me never crossed my mind. If I want to eat, I eat. If I see an eyesore, I kill it. And if it entertains me, I throw it a bone. I live according to my own stature. That can't be measured or understood. That's not my problem. Uh, sounds like you had your fill. Surprisingly, the flavor of humans are as diverse, as diverse as they are fleeting. The perfect thing to slurp up to pass time until I die. Crazy to say you're going to be on a slurp at the end of your life and everything, but Ferris. But Ferris. And that has yell. That has to be the end, right? Oh, God. And I'm, I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be the thing at the top where Urume and uh, Akari were before. But look at this man. Stan stuff holding on. And there you are. And, yeah, you see Urume. And then with uh, with Akari thereafter. Oh, oh, God. It's time, bro. It's so time. It's so time. It's so time. You see this boy? You see that boy right there? You see it right there? You see it right there? I don't care, bro. We go, bro. We throw biggies. We throw biggies. I don't give a damn. We don't care, boys. We're getting a new champion somehow, some way. We cope. We cope. It don't matter, bro. But it is time. Show me something that I haven't seen before. Rock my world, Yuji Itadori. Just what do you think? You'll be able to do Brad and Hikaruma up there too. Oh, this is what I've been waiting for. <laughs> oh, no, bro. Listen, that man is going to have him on trial. And when guilty as charged, Yuji is going to hit. Listen, this Barca versus PSG remontada, this Man United versus Bayern Munich in the Champions League final. It's going to hit like crack. I think we're far enough in the video we can go into that detail. But it's going to hit so hard for me. This is going to be my peak fiction, bro. I, this is straight up going to be that, man. I don't know what. Listen, I, I hope whatever you read in them soul records are about to do what they need to do. But it's time, man. My MC, I don't know what is in store.
but I am here for it, and we will feast, man. But, oh my god. Tag team match in the ghost town of Shinjuku. Itadori and Higuruma arrive on the battlefield break next week, but I already know we're going to have new tag team champions. That even be better, because we're going to split the belts. We got four belts. I'm going to give two and two. Higuruma going to get some. Itadori is going to get some. Nah, man. Nah, man, this this is everything I wanted. This is everything I wanted, bro. I know it may seem a little too soon, right? Because I know the general feeling is that we still need to see what exactly it is that Yuji can be able to take from Soul Breakers. Because right now, let's be honest with ourselves, aside from just the Cursed Energy and maybe the Optimus Chance will have the Black Flash and everything like that, you have to imagine there has to be more. There's got to be more to this, Right? As hype as this right now, you have to question what exactly could Yuji do here from his teachings, from the souls and stuff. Because that's my thing. I don't think the main thing is right now that they're going to beat them. Because I would think it would be crazy right now to pull it off here. But again, I don't want to hope that Gage's not going to say anything about, oh, we got a year left or whatever. I really don't want to hear any of this in the midst while this is going on. I want to see the action happen and then we see how it goes from here. But... I have to imagine right now, man, the mission right here is get Megumi the hell up out of there. Even if we have to be stuck with Prime Sukuna for the time being and everything, we got to get that boy out of there. And, I mean, it's only going to be fitting right now that Higurum is there. And we're going to have to put him on trial. Straight up, put him on trial. And, <sighs> my God, dude. What an end to the chapter. Like, this is going to have me thinking quite a bit as to what exactly is going to be going down after like as in terms of the main like is it going to be more so the rescue megami is it going to be so we got to get him out of here it just it's it has to happen right because we saw the merger stuff there with kenjaku that's still going on and we don't know like if that's going to extend things or end the story we don't know right but this is one of those moments right here that's really going to dictate where the story goes from here like gojo going out usually in my mind would think it extends things but right now, this could have a whole different meaning. And I'm just going to let it play out. And we'll see where it goes from there. But my God, what an end right there. My son is ready for combat, man. Kashmo might be done. And if it is the case, then RIP. But man, it's so, it's so over, bro. Like, and then we still have a Kotsu that's still going to probably pull up after the fact too, man. So I would have to imagine if Yokotsu didn't get summoned right now, it's because for sure it's going to lead to something where we're going to have to try and at least get Mega Meow and then try and get the hell out of there. Because I don't think as they are right now, they'll be able to finish Sukuna. I just, it's going to have to take something of logical sense. But again, with our fan base and stuff, some sides can actually see things through and some are just here for the agendas. But then again, we know who are the fans of series and not. But yeah, man, I'm going to let this... I'm going to let this sit in my mind, and I'm going to let time pass, and, you know, come back from the break, rehealed, rested, ready to go. We'll see what happens, man. But, guys, <laughs> this was an awesome chapter, but I'm very curious to know what you think down in the comments below. How we are feeling about where things are in terms of the story at the moment. How do we feel about this being the conclusion there to the Koshimo versus Sukuna fight? And how we feel about, you know, the, the explanation, everything there with Sakuna when it comes to love and, you know, where he's about with things. So I know a lot of people could feel, if not exactly to a T, to what Sakuna, you know, in terms of the actions, but at least in terms of mindset, you f probably may feel that way. I'm curious to know the thought process on that. And any clarifications, any input, anything you want to add about the chapter you felt was important, please let me know down in the comments below. Like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. If you want to be a part of the weekly experience when it comes to my coverage of Jujutsu Kaisen week in week out. Ain't no better time right now. I've been saying this for 237 chapters. And we're saying it again now for 238 chapters. This is the time. Subscribe if you haven't already. Click on the bell. Shandora. See if they were airing the goals on the channel. Not the manga. With the anime. With whatever. And when we come back from break. When we're ready to go. It's tag team action. It's Yuji Itadori. And Higuruma. Versus Sukuna. And then we have the undercard after with Hakari and Uriyume. We might have a, a Stone Cold appearance afterwards from Utah Colts. Bro, come on, bro. Come on. This, this is our cinema, man. We love to see it. 
Comment or let us know. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, take care. Going crazy. Yeah, we go.